Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of All The Mods 6, but in disguise. How are you guys doing today? How's life? We have recently done a Skyblock mod pack, so I'll try to get through the early game grind really fast. So don't you worry, we just get our sapling, hopefully. Nope, well that was an awesome start. This time we got it. The first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to try and expand the platform. How many blocks can we go down? Okay. It's not that bad. Oh, actually, that's it. Huh. And I'm just leaving these blocks so that the grass would spread here. Anyways, let us get our first tree, get some wood, make our crafting table, and get our first crook. We have ex nilio in the pack, but we also have ex compressum. So I think what we should be able to do is to make a compressed crook. This has higher durability. So we plant another sapling, we use the crook, and we should get some silkworms. Perfect. In this mod pack, we also have garden of glass, and if we hold sneak and right click on dirt, we should get pebbles. And we can convert the pebbles into cobblestone and start making a furnace, which I'm going to put it over there. Let us also try and make this platform just a bit bigger. I'm assuming for the start, this is not that bad. And we should also probably light it up. Very good, very good. So if we come to our quest book, we're going to get an axe because we managed to get wood. We're going to get a better crook because we made a crook. I don't know. <laughs> we get some cooked worm, which is food. And we get a pickaxe because we got cobblestone. The axe is not the best. It's okay. I'm not picky. In any case, now that we have a decent supply of silk worms, let us infest some leaves and wait for them to spread so that we would be able to get some string. One thing that I should probably do is to move that stupid chest. It's in the way. When you start the game, you're going to get a bucket of lava and one ice in order to make a basic cobblestone generator, but I think gathering pebbles is much faster. So I'm not going to make the same mistake I did in Skybees. We're going to start with a bed. Definitely. Cause seriously, I hate phantoms. And we can sleep. Perfect. We are going to start by making, I don't know, eight sieves. And obviously, eight meshes. In Ex Nilio, obviously we're going to start with a string mesh so that we would be able to get flint, so that we would be able to get iron. And then we work our way towards diamond, emerald, and netherite. But in any case, we have to start by sieving gravel. And for those of you who don't know the way that you get gravel, is by hammering down cobblestone. And obviously if you hammer it again, you will get sand. If you hammer it again, you will get dust. But I just need one piece of glass, because if we come to the quest, they will actually give us a lava bucket and a water bucket. So I think I should be able to make my first cobblestone generator. Oh, and we get to keep the buckets. Nice. Well, if that is the case, we're gonna have two. Because they already gave us a lava bucket, that should be an easy upgrade. These cobblestone generators are slightly weird. They do export automatically, but the chest has to be on top. You see, we're getting cobblestone. The one pro, uh-huh. Can I make you smaller? No. Since we do have X compressum, we can make a compressed hammer, right? Time to grind. Okay, that was an achievement. Anyway, what I basically want to see is that if we have compressed cobblestone, can we hammer it using this? Yes, we can. Very good. That should actually save me a lot of time. Oh, and by the way, in this mod pack as of this version, there is no way of crafting flint using gravel. You have to sieve, which I think it's the appropriate thing to do anyways. I sieved all the gravel we had. We have 56. So I think we should be able to upgrade 7 of them. Oh, you need 6 flint, not 8. My bad. We have 8 flint meshes. And we have plenty more cobblestone, so we can get iron. This is so nice. Are we getting iron? Yes. Not that much. I think one logical thing to do is to try and have a chest over here. So that we can put the garbage. And by garbage, I meant ores. I have sifted a bit more gravel, and here are the resources. You might notice we're getting a lot of flint. Which honestly speaking, we don't need that much. We just keep one stack. Anyhow, my main goal for today is to try and get diamond meshes. So that we would be able to get some automation going on. But for that we need a decent amount of iron, and so far we don't have that much. Yeah, that is 22 ingots. It's okay. And I also want to upgrade our chest, so maybe we get some copper and some silver. If we are getting it. Oh yeah, we are getting silver. Cool. Because I really need the iron for the meshes. Copper does not have a use. Yes, we have eight and we have eight of you. So I can upgrade my chest to copper and then upgrade it to silver. And this should be like three chests. Yes. While I'm going to sift for resources, there are other things that we have to do. In hindsight, I should have used the water in order to make an infinite water source and then make the cobblestone generators. But it's not the end of the world. We just make two wooden crucibles and add some sapling. I think we can add heat in order for it to work faster, but I'm not in a hurry. 
Also, we need to start thinking about lava and for that we are going to need porcelain clay, which is a combination of clay and bone meal. So let us make a composter and see if we can compost saplings. Can we? Yes. Our first bone meal. Can I compost worms? No. <laughs> would have been nice. Another very important item that we need is dirt. And in order to get dirt, we are going to need wooden barrels, we can compost saplings, and we should get dirt. But I think in these ones, we can also compost worms. It's not hyper efficient, but I have so many worms. Cool. We have some dirt. Dirt is actually extremely useful for us because we should be able to get seeds. A lot of seeds. And since I want to start building a little bit today, expanding our platform, I need access to spruce, because it looks nice. And in the meantime, maybe we should check the quests. Why would I need a sleeping bag? You give me an extra sieve. <laughs> okay, that's it, right? Actually, there's one more quest that didn't count. We have to get gravel, then we get sand, and then we get dust. And there is a reward for dust, which gives us a pedestal and something. Dust devil. Uh -huh. Oh, it's netherrack. <laughs> okay. While we are waiting for some water, let me try to gather more iron and I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? We have 8 sieves and sieves are extremely cheap. So why not trying to have 16? Because we have the flint and therefore my sifting process should be twice as fast. And no, I'm not going to use the auto clicker because I don't really like it. For me personally, it feels really cheaty. I have done a little bit of sieving and I have upgraded most of our meshes into iron. This one is still flint and I did manage to upgrade one of them to diamonds. Unfortunately, we don't have that much diamonds. We only have four left. But on a very positive note, our water is ready. And therefore, we can have an infinite water source. Now that we have access to an infinite water source, if I put you in front of you, can I craft? Yes. As I was going to try and say now that we have access to water, maybe we should start getting some dust. This is very annoying. I don't know why it converts back to normal sand. We just put the dust inside the wooden barrel and we get clay. I'm assuming this is enough for a crucible, right? It should be. We also need 7 pieces of bone meal and we should be able to make the porcelain clay, which will give us the unfired crucible and we just have to fire it up. For the moment, I'm just going to put it on top of this torch, but maybe we can get a uranium block. The question is, do we have uranium? Oh yeah, we do. I'm hoping that in this mod pack they manage to get the ore dictionary correct. We will see. This is very slow. So this is heat 1 and if I put you here, oh it's 20. Nice. It's so nice that they got it correct. I just added some cobblestone and very shortly we should have our bucket of lava. And of course in the meantime, I can sift. Oh, we got two more diamonds. That's nice. I think if you upgrade them as you go along, it's far more efficient. But in any case, we're not going to be sifting for long. We will automate it very soon. Diamonds are in short supply, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try and make some tools out of emerald. Don't get me wrong, we also need emeralds in order to upgrade our meshes, but for the moment, we have plenty. Do they have a hammer? No. That would have been nice. Also, I'm going to do a little bit of building today, because I don't want to live on a garbage platform. But you should remember that I'm extremely poor, so I'm not gonna go that fancy. We also got spruce, right? Yes. Can I plant it? Yes. I wanted to see if we have any good options for crooks, but the best one is diamonds. So no. This is going to convert everything into puzzle, but it's also okay because we do have grass seeds. We got it from sifting. Can I harvest the entire thing? Of course not. They don't want to make it easy on you. We have one diamond left. I'm going to invest it on a builder's wand and make my life a bit easier. And now the main question is where is the center? This is the center. I want our base to have a little bit of elevation, so what we're going to do is that we're going to raise this wall by, I don't know, one more block? Maybe two? Yeah, exactly. Why not? We just have to copy the exact same thing over here. Yeah, I think this is fine. We can make it extra fancy by stripping the logs. Also, I'm cooking some smooth stone for the floor, but I don't think we have enough. It's supposed to be eight stacks, but you know, takes time. So here's the plan. This is going to be the area for my trees and then I'm going to hide everything which looks garbage inside these rooms. And then we're going to have extra platforms which are going to be higher than this one. It's not a very easy thing to explain so you just have to wait for a few episodes until we gather enough resources. Also this is kind of the stupid part of the plan but we're going to vein mine the floor. I hope. And I forgot about the water. Then we're going to extend the smooth stone. I think for the moment it's not that bad. We just have to get organized. I want to build and automate as we go along and you cannot automate as long as you don't have power. So basically what I'm trying to say is that we need to start getting power. I have sifted all the gravel that we had and this is our entire supply of ores. 
I'm hoping it's enough, because I really don't want to sift anymore. We should process the iron. Anyhow, this is a sky block and we have access to a decent supply of lava. We can go with a dynamo, but I want to try different power sources from power, because I have never tried them. There is a magmatic generator from power, which we can make the basic version and that will generate us 70 RF per tick. We can easily upgrade it to harden and that will be 180 RF per tick. It's not the worst. And besides, I have a better plan for lava production. Oh, it gives you 24. I'm not complaining, that is actually really good. Of course, in order to make it, we also need some redstone, so we need to sift dust. I should probably sleep as well. Yeah, I think we are getting plenty of redstone. Good. And I think we need one more chest. Yeah, we put it here. It's not a huge supply of redstone, but it's over a hundred. I think to get started, we are going to go with three of the starter ones. One, two, and three. And then if possible, we just upgrade them to the basic version. Oh, we are out of iron. Oh, there's some left. Okay, cool. We have all three of them. I've also noticed that there is a mod called Pipes, and it gives us a fluid pipe, which is not that expensive. You also need a wrench, right? And just out of curiosity, if we do something like this, can we extract it? Shift? Yes. We're generating power. That's good. We just need to constantly generate lava, and I just put a hopper for the moment. Now that we are generating some RF, let me try to gather some more resources, and I'll be right back. Most important resource that I'm looking for is osmium. Oh, we only got one. That's okay, it was just from one stack, so we should get more. Cause the problem is that you only get osmium from diamond mesh and above, and we only have three of them. Actually, now that we have enough diamonds, Four of them. I have a lot of time to kill, right? Because I'm trying to gather resources and I'm trying to gather enough osmium, which could take some time. These things are not doing anything. They might as well do something, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and make some energy cables. And obviously we're going to upgrade them to the basic version. <laughs> oh, it only gives you six. Anyways, that is not very important because the only thing that I want to try and make is an energizing orb in order to get better power. Here is an energizing orb and we need a rod which requires a nether quartz. Oh, I did not think this through. We need soul sand, which honestly speaking is not a very terribly complicated thing to do. All we need is a little bit of mycelium, which we already got the ancient spores, and some barrels on top. We just have to wait for it to spread. We add the water and we should get witch water. And if we drop sand into witch water, we get soul sand. And since I only need like one piece of quartz, this should work. Hopefully. We got 11. 15. What are the chances? I'm confused. So now that we have the rods and the energizing orb, we should be able to do this. We just need to have a wrench and link them to the energizing orb. So now we should be able to get the energized ingot and upgrade them. And I'm guessing I'll go back to sifting. Again, we have a decent amount of resources, so I think we should be able to start crafting. We are going to start by having a metallurgic infuser, and by one, obviously I mean two. And since we have access to RF, I'm just gonna set them up, I don't know, over here temporarily and we want to use one of them in order to make a few pieces of steel and the other one in order to make some basic control circuits. Steel takes a lot of time. We're going to invest all of those in order to make crushers. There you go. This is the first one. And I think now that I have made a crusher, I can claim 16 iron. Yes, I'm extremely poor and I'm very happy that it gives you the bucket back. Here is a second one. And of course, since we have gravel, dust and sand, we're going to make a third one. There you go. And I have noticed that you cannot upgrade the cobblestone generator. So if we want to make a good one, we have to start from scratch. Do we have six pieces of diamonds? Oh yeah, we do. So I'm going to make a diamond one because we can. And then we're going to need some item pipes, which is not that expensive. Why are these things quests? Back here, I'm going to have an area for sieving and getting different material. Three drawers. One of them is going to be for gravel, sand, and dust. And each one of them is going to get one crusher. So I'm going to configure each and every one of them to output to the right and also to the bottom. Except the last one because it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it just goes to the bottom. Assuming we can just do something like this. Put the cobblestone generator and extract. Yes, it does work. Okay. I have also managed to make some of these energized alloys and we should be able to get a power upgrade. It's relatively expensive and I think we can only upgrade two of them because I don't have that much iron. And is there a possibility of making better cables? Yes, there is. A setup like this is not the worst. It should power everything. So one more thing that I want to make is a superheating element. Because this is a uranium block, it will give us a heat of 20. A superheating element gives us 60. So it's triple efficient. I was wondering why it's not generating any lava and then I remembered. You actually have to put it under the crucible. So now we are generating power and we are converting cobblestone into gravel. 
very slowly. The reason that I'm going with mechanism is that it's incredibly easy to automate and it's also easy to upgrade. So these guys can go incredibly fast. I want today to be the last day that I sift manually. So let us try to make an auto sieve. It does not have a terrible recipe and I think we should be able to afford it. We just need one sieve and we upgrade it into an auto sieve. So these guys are going to require RF and they require a mesh. And there used to be some upgrades, but I don't see them in 1.16. So maybe there are no more upgrades. For the moment, we're going to steal a little bit of RF from here. And if I give you gravel, you will work. Cool. It's just that hiding them is going to be a challenge because, you know, it's glass. If you put a block behind it, it will be visible, right? The block behind it is not the problem, but cables are. It's okay, let me get some more iron and then we'll fix it. So here's the deal. The sieve is covered by glass and you can see through it. And honestly speaking, I don't really want to see cables. So basically what I have done is that I made a very small basement and we have three sieves inside with emerald meshes. The way that it's going to work is that we take the gravel or sand or dust from here, we put it inside this barrel, there is an item pipe which will transfer the items into the sieves, we are going to get the resources and they will go to a drawer controller. But since I don't know how many resources there are and how many items we are going to get for the moment, they're just going into a chest. Oh, we got more iron. Nice. Also, I'm trying to make some infused alloy as well as some steel in order to upgrade these guys. Actually, steel is not required in order to upgrade them, but at least it will make them shut up. Because they are incredibly loud. Oh, we need glass. I forgot the glass. So we can have some energy upgrades and I do not think our power generation is enough but let us also make some speed upgrades. Maybe for the moment we just use two of them. Oh you're only consuming six RF per tick. It's just that I don't have any redstone left. That's it. It's fine. We have a decent setup for sieving so we should just make dust. And you go through hammers <laughs> like crazy. Okay we have over a thousand dust. That should give me plenty of redstone. There's no sea fortune. That is sad. Now that we have access to more iron, can I make more sieves? It should not be a huge issue, we were just missing glass panes. I have one more diamond mesh, and we're going to upgrade one iron to diamond, and that diamond to emerald. And since I'm out of pipes, maybe we should make a bit more. There you go, we have plenty of sieves, and we're going to use all of that redstone to make alloys. I could have also made an enrichment chamber and made it last longer, but it's too late. Can you rename them? That is my question. This is incredibly slow. Um, can we make a tier upgrade instead? So here is one basic tier upgrade and I'm going to use it for you so that you will process everything much faster. A bit. Before I forget, maybe we should also make an enrichment chamber. One more steel casing and one enrichment chamber. Perfect. And if we give you some redstone, you should give me the wafers. Yeah, the ratio is 1 to 8 and that is fine by me. So before I go completely insane, let us make the muffling upgrades so that these guys would shut up and then try to make some more speed upgrades. We add three more. It's 35 RF per tick. Not the worst. I think we should also be able to upgrade them to basic tier. I'm not really sure if it's a wise decision or not, but we will see. Now you're consuming 71. Oh, and by the way, the reason that these two are not working is because the gravel drawer has to be filled in first, then we will get sand, then we will get dust. This is why the faster that these guys work, the better. Obviously, we could have also used an auto hammer, but the main issue is in order to get gravel, you need one auto hammer. For sand, you need two. For dust, you need three. And it would be very difficult to make it compact and neat. Also, we can still further upgrade these guys and they will be super fast. I think faster than a hammer. I tried six speed upgrades and unfortunately, we cannot keep up with the power because each and every one of them are consuming almost 190 RF per tick and these guys are generating... How much are you generating? 180. And we have two of them. Although we have a third one which I can upgrade later on. So it's not going to be a huge deal. I want to focus on something else. We have this iron furnace mod and I think I deserve an upgrade because so far I've been using vanilla furnaces and they're garbage. Oh and they do accept speed upgrades. That's nice. But I'm not incredibly rich so we get the normal one. I'm not sure how many we can make and I'm not sure how many we need. Uh, maybe we go with four. I thought this is the recipe. No, <laughs> you need blocks of gold. I think we have enough gold. Yeah, we barely have enough. One ingot left. We can go to diamond and we should be able to go to emerald. No, it's okay. I don't have enough emeralds to upgrade the last one. So for the moment, we're going to leave it at that. I just want to see how fast are you? It's not that bad. 
I use them to get some more iron and gold and we should be able to also make a few chests because I need to work on a working area for myself. We also need to start working on a workshop and I think I'm going to set it up over here. Yeah, I would say this is not the worst. We have our crafting station, two diamond chests and a few furnaces. So we can start cleaning up. I thought I'm doing a great job of cleaning up, but look at the torches. Um, that's not good. Do we have a lantern? Oh, we have this guy. Places invisible light sources. And since the light sources are invisible, can we just put it, I don't know, under you? Yeah, I removed some of the torches and we seem to be fine. It just takes a little bit of time to update. That's it. If I'm not wrong, it should be able to illuminate an area which is 32 by 32. We had one sweet berry bush and unfortunately you cannot use twerking on them. You have to use bone meal. And since I have a huge issue with food, can we make something more efficient? Fruit salad. It's not that bad. It gives you 11 saturation. Anyway guys, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Next episode we should work on more automation so that we don't have to worry about resources. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.